My name is Lindsay Flory. I'm with the Osage County Historical Society. However, one of the things we do is help everybody in the county, including the Arvonia Preservation Group. Arvonia and many other places like it need to be preserved. And I'll go farther and I will say not just preserved. When we think of preserved, we usually mean don't touch it. Yeah, we're preserving the forest, don't touch it. We don't want Arvonia and other places like it to be untouched. We want it to be a thriving place where people can come and enjoy themselves and live life and help rural Kansas be the best place that it can possibly be. It was a thriving little farm community. They had a cheese factory at one time that's no longer there. They had a beautiful schoolhouse that used to be two stories. They had a church that went through a few different iterations of denominations, but there was always a church. And then later on, they ended up with a township hall as well. Most of them came from Wales, at least originally. And they farmed, and then some of them mined part-time in the coal mines as well. So you could farm in the summer, and then on the off-season go mine in the winter in the coal mines. Well, the schoolhouse was finished around 1872. That makes this its 150th anniversary, which is pretty special. And at the earlier part of when the school happened, they would have used things like these. This is an original slate. I don't know where it came from, which is why I'm comfortable handling it without my special museum gloves. But you can see it is bound on the edges with fabric. And that means when I am one of 20 children in the classroom, and I'm opening it and closing it and not being super careful just the way children are, it's not going to make a lot of noise. This bell is one of the last, actually not one of, the last bell that was at Arvonia Schoolhouse all the way up in the 1940s, so way after my outfit. So this was from the late 40s in Arvonia, and I'm going to go ahead and ring it just for the fun of it. This kind of a lunch pail is the kind of pail that might have been used in the later 1800s or early 1900s. It would have held any number of items that would have been locally and in seasonally available. Maybe fresh fruit or in the fall nuts if you had nut trees. Boiled eggs were really popular to take in lunches because they kept fairly well. Sometimes a bit of ham or other preserved meat. Arvonia had the same fate as so many small towns. They wanted the railroad, and they didn't get it. But they worked really hard and managed to keep a community much longer than many who didn't have a railroad, which is quite something. But I wouldn't say that Arvonia is entirely gone. It's still a community, it's just quite small. The schoolhouse is there, it holds lots of events. I heard just the other day they had a baby shower there for people from the area. We also have, oh, many different events coming up. There's fall festival, there's the possibility of an art show, perhaps a surprise fall event that's in the works. So it is a happy little community. The Township Hall is there for community gatherings. They do special services such as Christmas and Easter at their church. It really does still have things going on at Arvonia. The hard working spirit is very much a thing in Arvonia. Another thing that I found surprising when I was learning about it is that they had a cheese factory. And you wouldn't think of Kansas as having a cheese factory. You would think that that would be in Wisconsin, but nope, right here in Kansas there was thriving small economic businesses. <laughs> oh, it is very important to participate in Match Day and to financially support institutions like this. I will say, even coming from someone outside of the organization who helps the organization, we do programming there. And programming costs money. I personally, as someone who does the teacher portion, it would be so lovely to have the funding to get a slate for every child, a reproduction slate and slate pencil for every child who comes through that building that they can use while they're on site. Building maintenance is a thing, but really the bigger thing from my perspective is the money to get the people out there the money to be able to have a concert, the, the ability to have an art show, the ability to do basic things like rent chairs and tables and serve lemonade and Welsh cakes, and none of that is free. 